She is five foot one, eight point five stone. Her muscles are chiseled out of a Michelangelo statue. Her eyes are brown like chocolate. Kelly Skater, the Colossus of Bacchus Marsh. Australia and Scotland in this particular contest. And I don't know. I mean, I'm used to this whole shimmer thing. It's been eight and a half years that we've been presenting uh, our brand of women's professional wrestling here at the Berwyn Eagles Club. I still think that, I mean, to your typical wrestling fan, it's a little strange that, like, more than half of the matches feature wrestlers that were not born in the United States of America. Um, you know, perhaps if you're looking at, you know, your average wrestling show on a Saturday night, but when we're trying to accumulate the absolute best in the world, you have to look at the world, and I think that's one of the more unique features of Shimmer. It is very unique to Shimmer, and uh, it's, it's a great opportunity for fans here in the Chicago area and those that make the trip from other states and other countries to see everything live in one building, wrestlers from all over the globe at the same time. And I can speak uh, for myself as a member of the Shimmer roster. Uh, when I come to wrestle for Shimmer, I have the opportunity to have matches that I 
I literally can't have anywhere else. There's just not this assembly of female athletes anywhere else at any other time. And we're back to the first Shimmer taping in 2005, and I think there was maybe two Canadians on the show, and that was when the rest were all Americans. And then we started at, we had Rebecca Knox, Oof. Ireland, Nikita from the UK, and then it got out of control after that. Australia, New Zealand, two from Scotland this weekend. Of course, Kaylee Ray and Nikki Storm. Whole mess of Australians. Oh, doing a few tricep dips here in that body scissors. This is Kelly Skater, known for her fitness. Uh, Nikki Storm, known for her her luscious locks of brown hair that, uh, as she explained in her own personal ring introduction, which she delivered herself, uh, flow like uh, the glory, I'm paraphrasing, the glory of the Niagara Falls. Yes, and those chocolate donut looking brown eyes. No, wow. the color of chocolate donuts, her eyes themselves do not necessarily resemble eyes look like like donuts. donuts. I saw her complaining about there were no Nikki Storm donuts. I guess so. Uh, you know, some want ice cream bars with their image on it. I guess Nikki Storm wants her own brand of donuts here in the United States. I guess that's an insult to some of the rather overweight fans of the United States. Or she just likes donuts. That could be the case. Ooh. Open to in interpretation. Right now, she is sent to the ropes by Kelly Skater, one half of the Shimmer Tag Team Champions. A bit of posing from Nikki Storm. The ropes she comes once again. Leapfrog from Kelly Skater. Nice arm drag, taking Nikki Storm down. Two arm drags from Kelly Skater. Comes around, gets kicked in the midsection. Who's got this? I believe she's got this. As does Toma Kanaka. Well, thought that she had it was Soraya that pulled out the victory in that singles matchup. And Kelly Skater with the advantage still, the upper hand. To the yes. And of course, as you mentioned, we saw Toma Kanaka go in singles competition. Kelly Skater here herself in singles competition. But it is noteworthy to note that they are. Oh! Nice people. The current reigning Shimmer Tag Team Champions, but uh, but they're, they're they're lovely as well. well. I was just saying, like uh, she actually was willing to shake the hand of Nikki Storm in that situation, perhaps create a friendship, but she made the mistake of trusting Nikki Storm, and it did lead to Nikki getting the advantage here. Not three. A handshake is always appropriate and respectful. Uh, it, it's it's picking your handshake battle. That is what's important. Up, Kelly Skater back on offense here with some chops. Looking to show up Ray in that department with some brutal chops. Into the buckle goes Nikki Storm. Went for that leaping forearm, oh. stop, but Nikki moved out of the way and going to work on Skater. Just roughing her up in the corner. Handful of hair. Referee trying to lay down. And I'm not sure the actual day-to-day, month-to-month breakdown, but it seems to me that in between Shimmer events, Kelly Skater now spends the majority of her time in Japan, living there, training there, and competing there. Several uh, month-long tours, several months at a time tours, three to four months at a time, for also returning here to the United States, competing up in Canada on occasion. Uh, and of course, down in Australia as well. Uh, that is definitely hands full of hair. It, it looked like she was going for a cover. But not really. Not quite. Uh, Those fingernails into the flesh, back rake. M Nikki Storm remains, I would say, the master of the back rake here at Shimmer. Absolutely. It's not a maneuver that you see put into use too frequently. I believe Cherry Bomb might be the only other member of the act. But how do you scout that? How do you know how to combat that if no one's using back rakes anymore? A oh, lost God. technique. Oof! Like Kelly Skater was going for a shoulder block there through the ropes, and Nikki Storm, one step ahead, moved out of the way and delivered that kick. Gets two. She has yet to ask 
ask for a public commentary bonus in addition to my being a wrestler on the shows. But uh, she certainly would have a strong case. She does uh, as frequently as we are right now. She does provide a little extra uh, verbiage in her own matches. That is true. Cover here, not hooking the leg though, and Kelly Skater able to bridge up to get those shoulders off the mat. Let's go, Skater! Let's go, Skater! The, uh, best wrestler in the galaxy. Oh, she is. Which, considering the scope, the international scope of Shimmer, to be able to claim that you're the best wrestler of the galaxy is pretty significant. Does that mean we have to add competitors from other planets to the roster well, you, you and not to, just be international? You don't have to talk to Nikki Turner about that. I personally have never competed uh, outside of planet Earth, so she would know, she'd have the connections throughout the galaxy. I know that former ring announcer Joey Eastman was in negotiations to uh, be the promoter of NWA The Moon several years ago. I don't think that the shows actually took place. There's something about Red Team The Moon. Having a conversation with referee Andy Long. This is giving Kelly Skater some time to uh, well, shake off the effects. Nikki Storm claims that she didn't understand that chokes are not legal uh, here sure. in the United States, which a uh, valid concern. There are there are language barriers. Uh, she speaks English. It's English. She uh, has an accent. It's a very thick accent, and the rules are different, perhaps, in the United Kingdom. I don't think so. I've I never wrestled there professional myself. Professional wrestling rules are the same no matter where you go. A choke is not legal anywhere. Eye gouging, not acceptable in pro wrestling, no matter which country you are competing. What planet, which planet though, perhaps on another I Jupiter. Yes, on another Jupiter. On another planet, I suggested <laughs> Jupiter. Yes, I don't know. Is she a champion of the galaxy, the card game thing from Filsinger Games? We do offer the Shimmer game as well, filsingergames.com. Right now it is Kelly Skater getting a first adrenaline oh. Of offense here against Nikki Storm. Hard kicks in the chest to the midsection. The combination of the DDT at the very end. Now, let's go for the cover here. Rolling her over. Two and a half. Nikki Storm, though, with that shoulder up. Pointing out. Shoulder, shoulder was up. Which I guess is helpful to the referee. Uh, however, our referees generally are able to see that sort of thing. She makes a lot of things difficult for a referee. No, no, no. That is one of the where she's actually trying to help. And right now, looking for that perfect storm off the shoulders into that sit out over and uh, unable to get it. Ah! Alex Skater running kick right to the chest. Very close, but Nikki Storm rolls that shoulder up. And since Kelly Skater has been living and training in Japan, she's added so many different kicks and moves like that to her arsenal that she's become more of a striker. It's really been it's, it's been great. To, oh, that's um, yeah, that, that's an eye rake to some. I'm not sure what sort of donuts Kelly Skater's eyes resemble, but that was definitely straight to them. Rolling neck breakers. I believe holding on to the hair. Process. Only gets two though. Kelly Skater hanging in there. We've really seen over the years Kelly Skater develop from being an undercard opening match wrestler, considered by many fans at the time to be nothing more than a joke. And she has turned herself into a headliner. One half of the tag team champions has main evented on several occasions here in Shimmer thus far. And still very early in her career as well. And right now, Nikki Storm trying to force Kelly Skater to submit here. Trying to inch her way toward the bottom rope to force a break of the hold. And watching competitors like Kelly Skater, we mentioned earlier, uh, Mia Yim, who has a huge match coming up, watching them grow and, and improve and just watching them rise up the card at Chimmer is so motivational. Uh, for other for other wrestlers, but uh, it does it does promote a lot of friendly competition. You know, as we we keep stating, there's a lot of competition here. There's not a whole lot of spots to go around, and so watching someone improve like Kelly Skater, um, it, it makes you want it more. 
And in those eight and a half years that we've been presenting live wrestling to the fans in Chicago, we have truly had the opportunity to watch the development and the careers of several of the wrestlers on the roster over a period of, you know, six or seven years in certain instances. Right now, Kelly Skater, butterfly suplex. Followed up with the leg drop here. It's the leg. Only two. Shoulder up. Nikki Storm got a shoulder up. Shoulder up is up. It was up at about two. Kelly Skater looking to finish the job here and put Nikki Storm away. So utilizing the international incident, cross our version of Midburn DT slash Link Sweep variation. Going for the perfect storm again. Kelly avoids it. Ooh, cradled that leg and drove her down with the neck breaker with great force. This could be it right here. Skater with the shoulder up. Nikki Storm did not point out that Kelly Skater got her shoulder up. No, did not bring that to the attention of the referee to do him the favor. Getting visibly frustrated and perhaps crying. I may see tears. That maneuver has her Nikki Storm. Her eyes glazed like chocolate. In Europe. Like chocolate. Both wrestlers back to a standing position. Perhaps Ooh. thinking about getting that perfect storm. A combination of signature maneuvers of Nikki Storm to earn her the victory here against one half the tag team champions. And referee trying to give Kelly Skater some room. Nikki's just, just, just clawing at the back of Kelly Skater. Skater's able to get out of the way. Behind you, look to the midsection. Looking for the international incident. Drives her down to the canvas with it and hooks the leg. Here's your winner, the great tag, Kelly Skater. And even in defeat, Nikki Storm, although she runs her mouth an awful lot, she showed us tonight once again that she can hang with one half of the tag team champions, one of the most celebrated, accomplished wrestlers on the Shimmer roster, and she's more than just a mouth.